remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. In recent weeks, top contenders in the presidential race have been wooing voters in the Niger Delta with promises to restructure the Nigerian Federation and enthrone fiscal federalism if elected into office. Correspondent Ekana Milfuri reports that the electoral promises made by the presidential hopefuls are generating mixed reactions from Niger Deltans. Asiwaju Bola Tinubu of the All Progressives Congress APC, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party PDP, and Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party LP are top contenders in Nigeria's presidential race. All three leading presidential candidates have substantial numbers of supporters and loyalists in the Niger Delta and are currently engaged in a battle for the soul of a region that produces the bulk of Nigeria's wealth. More than ever before, the 2023 presidential election promises to be keenly contested due to recent developments in the political scene. Most glaring is the changing attitude of the electorate, which shows preference for candidates over political parties. In a bid to woo voters, the presidential candidates have promised to revisit the call for a restructured federation which has resonated in the Niger Delta for many years. The Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Obi, who was in Yenagua recently to solicit votes, says, if elected as the next president of Nigeria, he would enthrone fiscal federalism to reflect equity in the distribution of national resources. We will remove Nigeria from sharing formula to production formula. Once you introduce that, you've inserted restructuring. Every part of Nigeria fa have factor endowments that can make it a great nation. While in Yenagoa earlier, Alahaji Abubakar, the PDP presidential candidate, promised to reverse the backward state of the Niger Delta with the operation of fiscal federalism and devolution of powers from the center to sub-national governments in the constitution. You people in the Niger Delta need more restructuring than any other part of this country. We will give you more resources and more powers to deal with your problems. You don't have to always start begging the federal government, come and do this for us, come and do that for us when you are actually producing the resources of the country. While the APC presidential candidate Asiwaju Tinubu is yet to make any concrete statement with regard to a restructured federation, he has committed himself to the transformation of a region which he describes as a goose that lays the golden egg. I will fulfill all the promises made to you. You are the future of this country. You are the heart and soul of Nigeria. Your environment is as important as gold mining. Your health, your welfare, your dream will be realized for a stable, prosperous, united Nigeria. The electoral promises made by the presidential hopefuls are generating mixed reactions from Niger Deltans. While some are delighted at the prospect of having a restructured federation, others are taking the promises with a pinch of salt. It will be recalled that the ruling APC came to power in 2015 with a promise to restructure an alien federation. Two years after the clamor for restructuring reverberated in the country, the APC in 2017 set up a committee chaired by Kaduna State Governor Nasiru El Rufai to tinker with the idea of a true federation for Nigeria. In a report submitted to the party's leadership in January 2018, the committee recommended establishment of state police, power devolution, operation of resource control and fiscal federalism. To the dismay of most Niger Deltans, not a single recommendation in that report has been implemented till date. With the benefit of hindsight, Comrade Mwisa Baribani, a youth leader in River State and Solomon Lenu, a human rights activist, insists that recent declarations on restructuring and development of the Niger Delta 
are merely empty promises made to hoodwink the electorate. It's just a mere campaign uh, promise. If uh, wishes were horses, then beggars will ride. We've seen that they've always treated us with kid gloves, even while we are the, the people who holds the economy of Nigeria together. And that's the reason why you can see the east-west road is still lying unattended to after so many years and several governments, you know, being in charge. However, former president of the Isoko National Youth Assembly, Ovie Umuakbo, urges Niger Deltans to give the presidential hopefuls the benefit of doubt and continue to demand for the operation of fiscal federalism, which is crucial to their survival as a people. Uh, to restructure the Nigerian Federation is to me is a welcome development for we that are people of the Niger Delta region because uh, it's, uh, it's an issue that we have raised over time. As for the other candidates who have not actually come up with anything that has to do with restructuring, it is left for them. Other political activists have enjoined the electorate not to vote along party lines but reserve their votes for candidates who are truly committed to the development of largely backward communities in Nigeria's Niger Delta region. Inside the Niger Delta, 